Hello guys, this is the last part of our exam exercise, okay? Uh, now we are going to the last part of drama, okay? 10 points, unseen part. So there will be a play, a short play, a drama in this case, uh, and uh, you will see that for the first time uh, in the exam paper, okay? So, uh, as you can see, I actually uploaded the play with by a separate file on Google Drive already, okay? Uh, and that play is called Grey Matter by Jeanette D. Farr, okay? As it says in the supplement. So that's what you have to be focused on. But before you go straight to the text, I know you, you would feel like um, really... Uh, in a hurry in some way especially if this is the last part but at least this one is 10 points so be pay attention to what you are looking for in that play okay you might not see everything on the first read but I was just hoping that in the first read just uh, find the summary of the story what what it is about and uh, get the general feeling from that and then on the second read you can get into details and at what specific points you can see it from here from the questions okay uh, so okay let's read it together okay now uh, they say to write a paragraph of 150 to 200 words so it's quite the same length as the previous one in part two and to discuss one character ah okay so you have to pay specific attention to one character in the story and then explain how your chosen character reflects one theme you see in all these questions about literature they will always come up with asking what's the character or characterization uh, what's the theme, the plot, the setting, the symbol, the imagery, uh, and how all of these elements connect to each other. You have to pick one and connect the dot. That's always the key thing to do. Okay, uh, and now, and they also say to support your answer with clear and relevant evidence Okay, from the play. So not just picking character and theme, but linked it and support it with an evidence okay so let's go right into the play now uh, as i open it hope hope i hope you can see it clearly okay you can see gray matter by Jeanette defar okay always with drama they will all they will tell you who the characters are at first okay uh and then the setting and then the play itself so look at here, you have March and Russell, okay? That's, this is an excerpt of the play, not the whole play, okay? But at least you have to understand the part that they cut out from the story for you. Now we have March and Russell. And how these two characters are described is really important, okay? You see the age difference at first, 66 years old. See? And the other one, 21 years old. So you already see the gap happening between the, the two characters' ages. So you can already imagine uh, the conflict that could happen because because they will come from different perspectives because of that age gap. Okay? And next, this is might be or might not be the key to the conflict that could happen in the story. They say he, Russell, is an African American, which means he's black. Okay, uh, and then but March, she's white, a white woman. Okay, so that's it is a uh, what you call so the first difference, the age gap, the second difference, they are from different races. Ah, and so these two races are known in America to have conflicts. Uh, and what comes to be the perceptions and stuff like it all comes from just the skin of the color but is it going to prove anything 
you have to continue reading the story. Okay. What else? Okay, you also see she is well dressed. Not just the way her dress, but she is part of the middle class. Ah, so well dressed, middle class. So it means she, economically, she is richer. Okay. Ah,、uh, because if she is part of the working class, work middle class is higher than working class. Okay, so got you got working, middle class, and then the rich. Okay. Ah.、Uh, She March is well dressed. While Russell, you see, Russell wears baggy clothes and a baseball cap. Ah, they use this. You can already imagine March in Thai. You might call her Kunya Kunya or Manut Pa. Ah, you might have that image in your head. While Russell, when you imagine an African American male, he can wear suits, he can wear stuff, but in this play particularly, he wears baggy clothes, see, and a baseball cap. Ah, so is that you can imagine? Ask yourself, like, if is this the normal cloth for black people? Do do black men normally wear baggy clothes? So think of like hip hop guy, right, with、uh, baggy jeans. Uh, and then a baseball cap.、Mm, so it's more casual, okay, compared to March. She's well dressed, okay. So that's already the difference there. Little details tells a lot, okay. Now let's come to the setting. Ah,、uh, the setting is a small room in a police station. Hmm. So this is a place of authority. Ah. So imagine this is some place like a government office. Like if you have to go to the district office, like. In your district, you have to do the new ID card. You have to buy or sell your land deeds and that kind of thing. That's where all the what do you call、um, where you do business there. And here is a police station, so it already connotes meaning、uh, in here. Okay, now there is a row of six chairs and a counter. Ah, so imagine six separate chairs, one counter. And on the counter, there's a clipboard. See, with a pencil attached with a string, and a front desk bell. Ah, so anyone who comes here consider to this as a front desk. Behind the counter is a computer-generated sign that reads, "Please sign in." Okay, and the time is present day. So this is not in the fifties, in the sixties, in the seventies. This is the present day. But if you want to know more about what, what exactly is the year of the present day, you have to do research of who Janet Defar is, and when was she born, and、uh, what country does she live in, or what nationality is she,、uh, what is her nationality. That's how you know what context is that present day. Now. These are the description, the stage description. Okay, March is sitting in the middle seat in the row of chairs. Okay, so she is sitting alone among the rows of chairs. Imagine it. She is reading a book. She has her purse. Okay, so when you see this,、uh, in the original play, there's no number on the top corner like that. Uh, but this is put intentionally for you in case because this is the unseen text. Sometime in in the test,、uh, they will give meaning to you here. You see definition. What's a purse? Oh, okay, a small bag that women carry. Okay, so don't be afraid that oh, what about unseen text? What if I don't understand them at all? With uh, what do you call it?、Uh, if there is any unfamiliar vocabulary, they will. Uh, the examination, the examinator,、uh, per, the people who do the exams will put these details so that it won't affect your knowledge of the story. Okay, of the vocabulary in the story. Ah, next on the seat next to her. Ah,、uh, so imagine an old woman sitting alone by herself, putting her bag next to her on another chair. Okay, now Russell enters. Ah. Looks around, notices a sign, signs in, then moves to find a seat. Ah, March not looking up. Ah, that might be the key. Who knows? Okay, I'm, I'm highlighting this first. Okay, 
looking up. Ooh, too black, too dark. Okay, sorry. Ah, okay, looking up moves her purse to the other side of her and keeps it close to her. So imagine. Uh, okay, if this is my bag, okay. At first, I put it on another chair, and then I just read my book. And then when Russell came in, she removes it from the seat and put it next to her like this. Think of what that, what do you call, movement normally means to other people sitting, other people looking out, looking at her. And think of what she must think inside her head. You can guess, but let's stick to the story first now. Moves her purse to the other side of her and keeps it close to her. Ah. Now Russell says, I saw that. Ah, so that's her his first sentence to March. Russell says he saw the action of her moving the purse next to her, close to her. Ah, and then March. I don't know if she pretends or not, but she said, "Excuse me." Okay, I caught you. Okay, so if you're not familiar with American idiom, we also put definitions here. So I caught you means I know you're doing something wrong. Ah. So imagine you did something wrong. You thought no one sees you. And then actually someone sees you and they say, ha, I caught you. It means that person knows that you've done something wrong. Okay. So I caught you. That's what Russell said. March said, I don't know you. Ah. She didn't say, oh, we didn't do it. Or or try to make an excuse. She just said, I don't know you. Hmm. Can, this can be interpreted in many ways, okay? Now, Russell says, when I walked in, you moved your back. So he explained more of what he means of I caught you, okay? Uh, March said, please, I don't want any trouble. Huh? That moves so quickly in just one, two, three, four, five, and then six. In just this exchanges it moves so quick now you see that please i don't want any trouble because the man just said okay he caught march moving the bags okay and then he said he explained more that when he walks in he explicitly says that he knows she moves her purse her bag but instead of responding to him yes i did that or no i didn't she jumped to another what do you call it? she oh, almost like she jumped into the future she 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 thought that she was in trouble so she said no please i don't want any trouble and that really confuses russell because he said i'm not almost like he's he's going to say oh i'm not i'm not going to attack you i'm not saying that um I'm not, I don't mean to, what do you call, uh, try to talk bad things to her or like really want to harm her uh, or die in Thai, okay? <coughs> okay. But March actually interrupts him. He hasn't finished his sentence uh, because she just has her thought, right? Please, I don't want any trouble. And then she immediately says, because if you were causing trouble, I can notify someone. Ah, so that's how the the scene, the setting here, the, the setting description becomes important. The setting said it's a police station and March is implying that I can notify someone, which means I can ask for help if you are going to hurt me. But imagine why from these just two sentences, I caught you, when I walked in, you moved your back. March already jumped to the conclusion that, oh, he might hurt me. Oh, I should protect myself by telling the authority that, oh, he's going to hurt me. I have to protect myself. You can already read from this, okay? I can notify someone. And then Russell again was perplexed. He doesn't know what's happening here. He just said, I wasn't, he was trying to make an excuse, um, but March just, again, interrupts him. Okay, then, uh, without even hear the rest of the sentences, okay? So, as you can see, this is a kind of like a disruption that always happens, okay? 
I don't. Uh, and she changed her mood. Imagine the changes of of her moods. Like at first she's like, oh, what happens? She's puzzled. She doesn't know what he means. And then she refuses of what he said. I don't know you. Demon in Thai, okay? Uh, and then she said, please, I don't want any trouble. It's almost like she's scared. And then she said, because if you're causing trouble, I can notify someone. This, she's threatening him now. I wasn't, okay then. And then she seems like, Paula, blown, like, ends it. She ends the conversation. Intentionally or not, we'll see. Ah. And then pause. You see, whenever there's a description here, it's the writers, the playwright, who add that. There's no word pause on the sign anywhere in the play. But this is to emphasize that there must be like an uncomfortable silence during that. After Mars said, okay then, Russell, after imagine like five seconds and then Russell said the next line, okay? So at first everything moved fast, okay? I'm not, because if you're causing trouble, I can notify someone. I wasn't, okay then. See? Pause. Do I make you nervous? Ah, and now, Russell, it's almost like this is the first round of their fight. And then, after the pause, this is the second round of their fighting, okay? Now, Russell says, do I make you nervous? This is his question, okay? I don't even know you. Ah, so now she she's doing it again. She March already said in this line, I don't know you. And now she's saying it again. I don't even know you. It, now it's your job to, to interpret this in any way you want. You can interpret if March is like demon all the time, uh, like pretending nothing's wrong, pretending she didn't do anything wrong. Or you can, or maybe she doesn't really think of it that much up to you, okay, your interpretation. Now Russell says next, doesn't matter. I can still make you nervous. Ah, now is that the threatening sentence? Who knows? Or in Thai, it could be translated as, "Hmm, like I can still make you nervous." Oh, are you nervous? I can still make you nervous. It's almost like, "Oh, กลัวหรือเปล่า?" Oh, ฉันไม่รู้จักคุณซะด้วยซะมันก็อ่าเขาเรียกแหละ now in this case you can always you can almost say like in Thai he's beginning his quantine routine okay quantine is almost like you know even if if he knows she's nervous why does he say this sentence I can still make you nervous it's almost like a challenge to her okay I can still make you nervous, okay? Uh, okay, I'll use the, okay, the yellow one now. Then March say, look, I was in the middle of something, if you don't mind. So she tries to end the conversation again. She doesn't want to interact with him anymore. Because she says, oh, um, if you don't mind, no, I was in the middle of something. Now Russell says, why did you move your bag? He still keeps talking about the bag, okay? Um, he didn't accuse her. Now, you see, it's different from what he said in the beginning. He said, I saw that, challenging her, stating the fact. But now he's asking her why, okay? Before, he didn't say, he didn't ask her why. Now he did. Okay, why? Why did you move your back? And now she didn't say, I didn't. She didn't say, I'm not. I don't know you. No. But now she actually answered him. Whether it's true or not, it's your interpretation, okay? She said, I was getting some gum. Okay, so now you get the information. Oh, getting some gum. And then the action describes her now. She searches for a piece of gum. So imagine a gum, uh, if you know, like it's a, uh, what you call a small pack of gum where there are five separate pieces inside that pack of gums, okay? You can pick up one strip, two strips, five strips of gum, okay? 
so he already when you he knows like in the play that there are always more than one pieces of gum inside that packet of gums, right? That's why he says, "Can I have a piece?" Ah, ขอชิ้นหนึ่งได้ไหมขออันหนึ่งได้ไหมเห็นไหม Can I have a piece? Then March say it's juicy fruit. Ah, so even if you don't know anything at all, uh, this maybe she intends for him to back off. So she said it's juicy fruit because it's something like fruity fruity. Ah, so imagine r o t p u l a m a i r u a m Why most men they like something stronger like mint, uh, spearmint, ah, right? But then if it's juicy fruit, maybe he doesn't want one. But actually, he says my favorite. Ah, so it's almost comical. This is there's a comedy element in this. Okay, it's almost like o n k o k e y a k j a k i n m a k p r a n g k a อ่ะงั้นขออันนึงได้ไหมหืมมัน juicy fruit นะเออของโปรดเลย so imagine like the what do you call the what do you call the rhythm of how each line is delivered it has to be quick or else it won't be effective okay my favorite and then March say huh this is like the final thing now I only have one stick okay a uh, stick so instead of having five strips in that packet she says I only have one stick a stick Now Russell, he persists. You see, like this is like a quite an obvious proof of his stubbornness, of his intention of getting her angry, getting her upset. I don't know, but in Thai, k u n t i n c h u a right? Can I have half? You know, half of the gum. And then March, March doesn't say anything more. She just say, "You're bothering me." It's almost like. นี่หยุดกวนตีนได้แล้วโอเค you're bothering me is something like that uh, okay let's highlight that okay okay so I don't make you nervous but I bother you okay now okay let's see what bother means bother means annoy อ่ะผมทำให้คุณลำคาญเหรอตอนแรกไหมโอเคอ่ะสรุปผมไม่ได้ทำให้คุณกลัวเหรอแต่ว่าผมทำให้คุณลำคาญปะอย่างนั้นเหรออ่ะแล้วมาร์ชก็พยายามจะแก้ตัวไม่ได้บอกว่าใช่ยูกำลังทำให้ฉันลำคาญไม่มาร์ชไม่ได้บอกมาร์ชบอกว่า I'm just need not in the mood for conversation อ่ะอันนี้ก็ไม่ได้บอกว่ากวนตีนะคะแต่มาร์ชบอกว่าก็แค่ไม่อยากคุยกับใครอ่ะ not in the mood for conversation ไงอ่ะแล้วรัสเซลก็บอกว่าคล้ายๆเกิดจะบอกว่าโตแล้วแต่ไม่มาร์ชรัสเซลบอกว่า oh I think it's something else อ่ะแต่ผมว่ามันเป็นเรื่องอย่างอื่นนะมันไม่ใช่ละอืมไม่ใช่ว่าคุณไม่มีอารมณ์คุยหรอกอ่ะมาร์ทก็ตีมเงินแบบ oh, if you say so จะเชื่ออย่างนั้นก็เชื่อไปเห็นไหม if you say so then March goes back to her reading อ่ะ ignore ละไม่สนละตีมือเย็นชาใสละณจุดจุดนี้ goes back to her reading อ่ะ now Russell says when I walked through that door you thought rapist murderer purse dealer a rapist คืออะไรคะ rapist คือ a person who has raped someone อ่ะก็คือคนที่ข่มขืนคนอื่นอ่านักข่มขืนไอ้ฆาตกร purse dealer ไอ้โจรลงมังกระเป๋านี่ Russell คราวนี้ไม่ได้มาตีหมื่นอะไรแล้วนะประโยคนี้แรงมากนะคะในการกำลังบอกว่าเนี่ยพอผมเดินเข้ามานะคุณน่ะคิดอย่างนี้แน่ๆเลยว่าผมอ่ะเป็นไอ้ฆาตกรไอ้นักข่มขืนคนจนกระมวยกระเป๋าตั้งอันนี้นี่คือแบบคิดอะไรก็พูดออกมาเลยนะอันนี้คือเขา predict เขาพูดออกมาเลยนะ March กำลังคิดอะไรอยู่เห็นไหมอ่ะประโยคนี้สำคัญไฮไลท์ไว้โอเคอ่ะ March แต่คราวนี้ March ไม่ได้ตีมือนไม่ได้อย่างนั้นสิ้นปฏิเสธอย่างกล้าหาญชาญชาย I thought no such thing ไม่ได้คิดอย่างนั้นเลยนะคะ I thought no such thing ไม่ได้อยู่ในหัวเลยค่ะ But you moved your purse so this is his reason อ่ะเขากำลังคิดว่ามาจะต้องคิดแบบไม่ดีกับเขาแน่ๆเลยก็เลยย้ายกระเป๋าเห็นไหม But you moved your purse I was just being polite by making more room อ่ะดังนั้นมาจเขากำลังแก้ตัวของเขาว่าเฮ้ยไม่ไอ้ที่ขยับกระเป๋าน่ะจากฝั่งขวามาซ้ายอ่ะเก้าอี้ตัวนี้จะได้ว่างไงคุณจะได้นั่งได้โอ้โหดูคำตอบซะก่อนสวยสดงดงามจริงไหมอ่ะ I would do that for anyone อ่ะแปลว่านี่ไงคือจะได้ที่นั่งจะได้ว่างขึ้นอีกตัวไงฉันก็ทำอย่างนี้กับทุกคนนั่นแหละ I would do that for anyone เห็นไหม
ไม่ใช่เพราะคุณเป็นคุณคนผิวดำหรืออะไรฉันถึง move ไม่ไม่ฉันทำอย่างนี้กันทุกคน quality นะ equality อยู่นะ I don't buy it อ่ะเอ๊ะเข้าใจไหมเบอร์ห้านี่ไงลงมาดู I don't buy it. แปลว่า I don't believe you okay I don't buy it ไม่เชื่อ It doesn't really concern me if you buy it or not. That's the reason. คือมาร์ชกำลังจะบอกว่าในขณะที่รัสเซียพูดเปล่าเปล่าคุณนะคิดอย่างนั้นแน่เลยคุณมาร์ชกำลังจะบอกว่าเออไม่เชื่อก็ไม่เชื่อคือก็ไม่ได้สนอยู่แล้วว่าคุณจะเชื่อฉันไหม That's the reason นะ There are five empty chairs I could sit in. อ่ะก็อันนี้ก็บอกคือพอมาร์ชมาแนวแบบไม่สนละช่างแม่งอย่างนี้อ่ะรัสเซียก็บอกต่อว่าฮึคือตอนนี้ที่คุยกันเนี่ยผู้ชายยังไม่ได้นั่งจริงไหมแล้วผู้ชายก็บอกว่า there are five empty chairs I could sit in อ่ะมีเก้าอี้ว่างตั้งห้าตัวที่ผมนั่งได้นะเนี่ยคือเหมือนกับรำพึงออกมาดังๆว่าอืมมีเก้าอี้ว่างอยู่ห้าตัวนะจะนั่งตัวไหนดีอ่ะมาร์ชก็บอกแบบโอ้ยก็แล้วแต่ค่ะ as if to satisfy him alright you caught me อ่ะคือเหมือนกับว่าไอการที่มาร์ชย้ายกระเป๋าเนี่ยแล้วข้ออ้างมาร์ชบอกว่าก็นี่ไงก็ทำให้เก้าอี้ว่างก็คือถ้าใครเดินเข้ามาก็จะได้นั่งได้แต่ผู้ชายก็จะจับต่อแหละต่อว่านี่แต่มันมีที่ว่างตั้งห้าตัวนะแล้วทำไมต้องไปย้ายตัวนั้นคือไม่จำเป็นต้องย้ายกระเป๋าเลยผู้ชายสามารถนั่งตรงเก้าอี้ตัวไหนก็ได้นี่แสดงว่ามีการย้ายเนี่ยจงใจหรือเปล่าเห็นไหมเนี่ยแล้วมาร์ก็เลยแบบโอ้ยเหลืออด as if to satisfy him ตรงนี้คือเรากับว่าตอบเพื่อให้เขาพอใจอะตอบให้สบายใจเราเลยพอมีอันเนี้ยเราเลยฟันธงไม่ได้ว่าสิ่งที่มาร์ชพูดเนี่ยจริงหรือไม่จริงเพราะว่า alright as if to satisfy you caught me โอเคเออโอเคจริงก็ได้ประมาณนั้นอะเห็นไหมแล้วรัสเซลก็บอกว่า unless you wanted me to come sit next to you ก็คือแบบอะก็ได้ว่าเออฉันจงใจทำเองนี่แหละเออไม่อยากให้เธอนั่งข้างแล้วเซลก็แบบแบบเหมือนกับจะยื่นเชือกมาให้ว่าแบบเฮ้ยเออหรือว่าคุณอยากจะให้ผมนั่งข้างคุณจริงๆ unless you wanted me to come sit next to you เห็นไหมหรือคุณอยากจะให้ผมนั่งข้างคุณจริงๆอ่ะมาร์ชก็เลยบอกเออจะนั่งไหนก็นั่งเถอะ you sit where you'd like okay you can sit where you would like to sit that okay แล้วเขาก็เลยอธิบายต่ออ่ะ Russell sits in the chair farthest away from her. คือนั่งตัวเก้าอี้ที่ไกลที่สุดจากตัวเธออ่ะแปลว่าในนั้นมันมีตั้ง5ตัวใช่ไหมอ่ะนั่งตัวที่ไกลสุดก่อนแล้วก็บ่นดังๆด,ดูสิ่งที่เขาบ่นนะ Oh, this one's too hard. ตัวนี้แข็งเกินไป He moves to the third chair closest to her. อ่ะตัวลำดับที่3ถัดจากมาร์ชละแล้วอะไรอีกโอ้ยไม่เอาไม่เอาตัวนี้ no nope, not right either อืมมันไม่ใช่อะตัวนี้ he sits two chairs away เหมือนกันเริ่ม countdown ละตัวที่สามตัวถัดไปสองตัวถัดไปอันนี้ damn uncomfortable นี่คือแบบเก้าอี้ที่ข้างๆมาชนะไหนยังบ่นว่าโอ้นั่งไม่สบายเลยเห็นไหม Russell พูดอย่างนี้เลยว่าอ๋อ do you mind if I try yours อืมจะเป็นไรไหมถ้าเกิดผมขอลองเก้าอี้ที่คุณนั่งอยู่หน่อยโอ้โหคราวนี้มาแบบโจงแจ้งมากละขอนั่งเก้าอี้คุณได้ไหม this one isn't right ไอ้แต่ไอ้ตัวข้างๆเนี่ยมันไม่ใช่อะ how about you let me sit on your lap โอ้โหอันนี้ความกวนตีนมาขั้นสุดเออขอนั่งบนตักได้ไหมครับเห็นไหมคือแบบขอนั่งบนตักเลย march goes to the counter march ก็เลยบอกอดรนทนไม่ไหวมาร์ชไม่พูดอะไรแล้วนะไม่ต่อล้อต่อเถียงละมาร์ชเดินไปที่เคาน์เตอร์แล้วริงสเปลจําได้ไหมตอนเขาบรรยายฉากไอ้ตรงเคาน์เตอร์ตรงนั้นนอกจากจะมีใบให้เซ็นแล้วว่าอ่ะจะมาติดต่อธุระอะไรเนี่ยมันมีกิ่งกระดิ่งอยู่มาร์ชเดินไปเลยตรงเคาน์เตอร์แล้วตบกระดิ่งป้าป้าเห็นไหมแล้วรัสเซลก็บอกไป wait wait lady I was only joking sit back down อ่ะรัสเซลพยายามจะบอกอุ้ยป้าป้าใจเย็นใจเย็นไม่ต้องไปเรียกตำรวจเออผมแค่ล้อเล่นอ่ะ sit back down กลับมานั่งมากลับมานั่งมาร์ชก็ถามอีกว่า Will you leave me n o t แล้วจะปล่อยฉันไปได้เขาเรียกว่าอะไรไม่ใช่ปล่อยฉันไปได้อย่างแต่มันคือปล่อยให้นั่งปล่อยให้ฉันนั่งเงียบๆคนเดียวได้อะไรอย่างอย่ามายุ่งกับฉันได้ไหมเนี่ย Will you leave me alone เออเซลก็โอเคอัสัญญาละเดี๋ยวจะเป็นคนดีละอ่ะ I'll be nice โอเค I'll even sit over there if it will make you happy อ่ะเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเขาก็ชี้ไปเก้าอี้สักตัวนี่แหละอ่ะเดี๋ยวผมไปนั่งตรงนู้นก็ได้นะถ้าเกิดแบบป้
ณนะตรงนี้ที่เขาตัดมานะก็จบตรงที่มาฉันนั่งไกลๆรัดเซลเลยคือไม่ต้องรอรัดเซลไปนั่งไกลละอีฉันคนนั่งไกลคุณเองแทนเห็นนะอ่า so that's the end of it อ่าได้ใจความว่ายังไงคะลองคิดก่อนลองคิดก่อนอ่ะลองคิดก่อนให้เวลาสิบวินาทีอ่ะแล้วว่างอาจารย์เปลี่ยนสไลด์ลองคิดดูลองคิดดูอะไรคือทีมแคสเตอร์เนี่ยมีสองคนแล้วมันกําลังบุกบอกอะไรมันมีทีมเรื่องอะไรไหมลองคิดก่อนโอเคอลองคิดกันลองคิดกันลองคิดสิบวิโอเคอ่ะมีคำอะไรแล่นมาในหัวบ้างก่อนที่จะนั่งเขียนเลยถ้าเขียนไปเลยเนี่ยเราอาจจะไม่ได้เราอาจจะเรียบเรียงความคิดออกมาได้ไม่ดีดักใช่ไหมดังนั้นที่แน่ๆเราต้องเลือกก่อนว่าไอ้ร้อยห้าสิบถึงสองร้อยคำที่มันมีไม่เยอะเนี่ยคุณจะเขียนถึงใครที่แน่ๆ you have two choices เพราะมันมีตัวละครแค่สองตัวอยู่แล้วจริงไหมดังนั้นต้องคิดก่อนมันมีแค่หนึ่งกับสองเท่านั้นเองจริงไหมจะเขียนเรื่องจะเขียนถึงตัวละครไหนรัสเซิลหรือมาร์ชดังนั้นคนสองคนนี้คิดก่อนคิดว่าใครที่เราคิดว่าจะ represent ทีมเรื่องได้ดีที่สุดและใครที่เราจะเอาเอาคำพูดเขาที่เป็นโค้ดนะหรือจะอธิบายการกระทำการกระทำของเขาได้ชัดเจนที่สุดอ่าแล้วถ้าเลือกได้แล้วเนี่ยหรือถ้ายังคิดไม่ได้ไม่เป็นไรก็คิดออกมาก่อนว่าคิดว่าธีมของเรื่องเนี่ยคืออะไรแล้วดูว่าใครเนี่ยจะ represent ได้ดีที่สุดเห็นไหมเขาพูดถึงความไม่เห็นกันไหมว่าถ้าทำให้คาแรคเตอร์สองคนเนี่ยสมมุติเป็นคนขาวทั้งคู่คนดำทั้งคู่มันอาจจะไม่มีคอนฟ lict อะไรเลยก็ได้ก็คือป้านั่งอยู่อีกคนมาก็นั่งค่ะค่ะจบรอเจอเจ้าหน้าที่ตำรวจอ่ะจริงไหม but this one Okay. Uh, this one, March, Papa, Piu Kao, Russell, male, black man, black man. Okay. So you already see something happening. Russell already judges, sees what March is doing as an act of something. Ah, he, you already see his sentence. He says he assumes what March thinks. You think I'm a rapist. You think I'm a purse dealer, you know? Ah, uh, so Russell thinks that March is what? Say that word. Say that word about race. Adjective. Racist, okay? Ah, uh, that's it. So you can identify the theme of the story could be about racism. Sorry, sorry. Ah, uh, yeah. Where's my eraser? Okay. About racism, okay. Racist is a person. Ah, คนนั้นเหยียดผิวอ่ะ That person is a racist. But if you want to talk about the system, the belief that one race is above another race, that's racism, okay. Ah, uh, or you can talk about um, social inequality. Ah, uh, so come, you should come up with keywords first, okay. Social inequality. Hmm, could be, could be. Hmm. Or these two can even link together, because you see that uh, it's not just about because Russell is black and Marge is white, but you can see in the description that Marge is a middle class, well dressed, while Russell dressed casually. It seems like he have. It can be assumed that he has uh, what you call maybe less money than Marge. Who knows? We only see his and her clothes. Okay. Ah. Uh, So if I have to pick one, hmm, let's try one. Nah. Okay, what if I pick? You can have more choices than this, but if I pick Russell to discuss about, and then the theme, maybe racism. Ah, okay. So if I pick this, what I have to write is, so I have to talk about the questions again. Uh, discuss one character. Okay, explain how your chosen character reflects one theme. Ah, the character, eh, nah, Russell, uh, reflects the theme of hmm, racism in the play. Ah, okay. Ah, now I have to support my answer with clear and re relevant evidence. Uh, 
so I can say um, maybe okay. So what is it about racism, uh, Russell? So as you can see, it's not always about white people uh, dominating black people, but the feeling it's also black people think of what white people assume what white people think also because the character russell uh he assumes okay so let's let's write it i really want that sentence so i'm going to use it what russell say about where is it ah when i walked through that door you thought rapist murderer purse dealer ah i want to use that okay so i'm going to use that uh, but without the highlights mm, no color okay now Russell Russell believes so this is the my interpretation now okay Russell believes that March is racist because so you have to describe the motivation of the characters first before you can say oh russell thinks march is racist and then if you end the sentence just like that what do you call the the person who gives you points can't give you full points because they're waiting for you to give the reason oh why do you think that okay so you have to give them the reasons russell believes that march is racist because he interprets ah so the verb is important he interprets march March's action of removing, of moving, okay, of moving her purse as, uh, okay, the motivation, uh, March's motivation, uh, let's see, motivation of moving her purse as, uh, because, so, March motivation of moving her purse is because she, doesn't she's afraid she is afraid of him this is up to you now of him stealing the purse could be that's why he said purse stealer okay or just say she's afraid of him or his type okay uh believes that march is racist we can interpret smart moving a purse this is very long okay march is racist ah okay uh he or you can just you can make you can separate the sentences it's okay he interprets march's motivation of moving her purse as uh march's motivation is that she's afraid okay she's afraid of him stealing the purse okay uh ah uh, so so what's behind this thinking uh uh it can be suggested so this is one way of saying like you you don't want to what do you call pinpoint or really say he thinks it's because he's racist himself uh but this is to say that you can interpret this story his action in many ways you can say it can be interpreted suggested that um march Hmm. that uh, Russell as a black African-American as a black man has been treated treated unfairly because of his skin before okay that's why when he see the same action happening with March he he interpreted as the same motivation that March has to be the racist, okay? Russell S. Blackman has been treated unfairly because of his skin before. Okay. Uh, he also... Um, he also say out loud... Says out loud of what he thinks is marches marches uh thoughts okay at the time at the time and then you can put the quote here okay ah when it worked put this sentence here 
this is my evidence, okay? When I walked through the door, you thought, rapist, murderer, purse dealer. So, de ah, okay. Let's just delete the... Eh. Okay, rapist, murderer, purse dealer. Okay. Oh, but he thinks it's March, March's thought at the time. When I walked through that door, you thought, rapist, eh. This shows that... Okay, so you have to explain more. Eh? This shows that... Um, uh, uh, Russell assumes that a middle age uh, middle a middle age white woman like March still assumes that a middle age white woman like March uh have the same idea, have the same races, have the same bias, have the same bias thought, have the have similar, have the same bias thought to black uh, to black men in America. Okay, maybe in America. Okay, let's just okay to black men. Okay. Okay, so you have to write more, I think, because this is just 100 words. So, 50 words more to 100 words more. Okay, ah. So, uh, what else? Ah. So, in this case, I'm defending that Russell thinks that March is racist. Okay, so the theme about racism is racist. So, if you, so what about racism? Okay, uh, racism but it's not just the keyword that matters you have to put it like what about racism in this play uh racism can comes in maybe racism can come in any form so i can say ah ma racism can comes ah sorry okay razor okay racism can come in many forms ah that's why he interprets Marge's action as racist actions, okay? Can come in many forms. Uh, and if you want to say social in, in, in Sorry, I just saw that. It's, it's the wrong spelling of inequality. Sorry, guys. So sorry. Okay, okay. Draw, draw. Social in -e -qua -qua. Bear with me, bear with me, students inequality social inequality okay uh, uh, creates con maybe it's a sentence okay creates conflicts yeah uh, because they have different social status that's why there's conflicts happening in society uh, could be okay resin can come in many forms now makes it be that racism uh, can come in many forms. Okay, Russell believes that Mario is racist. Da, da, da. Ah. You show that Russell assumes that a middle aged white woman like March have the same bias thought to black men. Ah, okay. But if you want to really go deeper and if you have enough word limits, ah, have enough time to explain more, I would say. Russell could also be racist because he, you can deal with racist in many ways, okay? You don't have to be racist back to the one who says racist things to you, right? So, uh, you can say at the same time, Russell um, uh, chooses to retaliate, uh, to respond, to fight back, okay? Uh... Hope you know this word. Ah, it's okay. To retaliate, to respond, to fight back, ah, to retaliate uh, by making March uh, uncomfortable. See? Making her uncomfortable, making her nervous, may bothers her. Ah, okay? Making March uncomfortable by... Uh, could be mm, okay so 
by bothering her with questions uh, and his uh, actions of switching I uh, switch his places switching switching his chairs uh -huh, and asking her for gums uh, see for maybe just a piece of gum uh, and what else what else okay can come in many forms uh so ah now you want maybe you want to do a conclusion so in a way russell russell's action um, can also be interpreted as a a racist way of no no as a Mm, as a form of racism uh, you should not use so because if you want to suggest like an opposition if you want to show a co something that contradicts your previous idea you should say like on the other hand however nevertheless okay on mm, nevertheless however However, Russell's action can also be interpreted as a form of racism uh, because he intimidates, he accuses her, her. he accuses her motivation. Maybe because what if you if you really look at how March responds to this it depends on the actor who who plays who interpret the March character and maybe act in the play it might help you uh to notice if March is really racist or if she just like just like an annoying old lady that's all maybe uh because he accuses uh he accuses her and tries to confront tries to make her admit that she is racist ah see yeah let me see soon okay try to make uh, okay let's see how long is that 157 okay that's it that's like the minimum you have to write but you can't just end it like me okay you have to if you want if you what do you call uh propose another idea you should also explain that idea enough before ending the paragraph okay maybe just one sentence at the end to summarize what you've said okay so the first two topic sentence of course uh replies back to the question okay uh character theme okay go straight to the point no need to shut my name and as you what do you call organize your thoughts uh presenting your evidence and maybe in the end, in conclusion, ta -da -da, uh, please give me some conclusion. Uh, in conclusion, uh, okay, Russell, du -du -du. Russell, the character Russell, something, something, dim, 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 uh, you have to end it too, okay? Can be or not, up to you. Uh, but uh, that's, that's one way. I'm just showing you how, what do you call, one way of, doing this exam you might have different methods completely different way of thinking and that's fine as long as you don't stray from the question okay the directions put in the exam paper that's like the key don't stray from that and you get points okay do not go off topic eh? don't get caught up in your ideas okay be specific be focused support it and you'll be fine okay and hopefully this video will help you more or less um and if you have any questions like i said email me contact me okay good luck with the exam everyone see ya